Namaste and peace and blessings. I would like to thank you so much for joining me in our Thursday, August 25th virtual studio session. The items that we are going to need today for our session is a yoga block and maybe a yoga strap, a bolster, pillow, or a blanket if you feel as though you may need it here today. We can light a candle, set out a diffuser, or maybe even dull the lights. Anything we feel we may need to help us relax and soothe our mind and our bodies here today. As we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, I am coming into a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help relax, soothe, ground, and wind down our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are tucked at our navel, spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken, having control of that body, with the shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears, allowing us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, but that feels good for us. As we gaze our eyes downward, we'll close our eyes. Relaxing in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, palms are together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Feel in this slight back bend here. You'll feel this in your lower spine. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Palms are separated as we twist the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. Allowing the twist to relax and soothe your spine. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into a seated star. Our palms are out towards the side. In this extended mountain, our palms are together above our heads. In a seated salute, our palms are together. So salute. Seated extended mountain, seated star, palms out to the side, twisting our bodies towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Spinal twist opposite side, gaze in the eyes down low, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that star. Arms out to the side, coming into that extended mountain. Coming into that salute. Relaxing down to prayer, bringing the palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Taking a couple moments to check in with body. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, at our present moment. Simply being aware without judgment as we allow our palms to relax on the earth, on the yoga mat. Using our palms to connect to our environment, taking a moment to notice what is going on around us. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. 
However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. Exhale into our salute, palms together. Chin is up. Tummies tucked at our navel. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms to the sides of our bodies. Palms can be downward, palms can be upward. Noticing how this feels as we rotate our arms forward, working on firming and toning the upper parts of our bodies. Five rotations. As we find our pause, we're gonna rotate our arms in the opposite direction. Five rotations. Finding that pause, breathing our arms back up to our salute, interlacing our fingers as we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that C-spine. Noticing how this feels in our side body, slightly gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. C-spine opposite side, feeling that side bend within the body, slightly gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Breathing the palms down that heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears, closing the eyes or gazing the eyes down. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale through the mouth. As we flow onto our hands and knees, coming into a tabletop pose, our knees are hip distance apart. Dropping down to cow, you'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Tummy comes downward towards the earth, chin is slightly up. This cow pose relaxes and soothes the lumbar spine. You're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into cat, breathing the chin towards the clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Tummies are tucked at our navel, four breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Flow into our table. As we breathe, our right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, right fingertips flows towards the heavens. As we slightly gaze up at our right fingertips, feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, we're gonna thread the needle, threading that right arm through the left arm, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, extending this left arm in front of us. Or we can wrap this left arm behind our backs. We're gonna hang out here and just thread the needle, relaxing and soothing for four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly unwrapping that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we breathe that left arm up in the air, nice and high, feeling that stretch. Fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, gazing at the fingertips if you choose. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Maybe our right arm is extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Mm. 
or maybe our right arm is behind our backs here and our thread the needle. Whatever we choose, we're going to relax and soothe. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly unwrapping that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to curl, exhale to cat, flowing back to our table as we breathe our right leg towards the back, flowing into that sunbird pose here. Tummies are nice and tight here, extending that left arm forward. As we pulse that right leg up in the air, we are working at gluteus maximus. We are gaze forward, four breaths. Now pulsing the leg up and down is just an option. We can stay still. Two more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to sunburn. Knee to elbow, feeling that abdominal crunch. Back to sunbird, knee to elbow, flow back to sunbird, two breaths, exhale to table, dropping down to cow, chin is up, flow into our cat, coming back to our table as we breathe that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Extending that right arm forward, we are in that full sunbird, optioning to pulse that left leg up and down, working at gluteus maximus. Tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Or we can keep that leg still. Whatever you choose, four breaths. Two more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Exhale into our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pet on our feet, walking our dog if that feels good. Finding our paws, we're gonna breathe our right foot to our right hand, coming into that runner's lunge. Holding this pose for a couple breaths. Dropping down to our knee. Now that that low lunge. <sighs> Lifting our torso away from our thigh, we're gonna come up to that crescent lunge, breathing our arms above our head. Feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot. We're gonna flow into a half split, straightening that front leg. They also like to call this a half pyramid. Feeling this stretch, allowing that head to relax down over that front thigh. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming into a pyramid, straightening that back leg, straightening the front leg. We are now in that full pyramid. Exhaling back to down dog. 
Walking our dog, wrap head on our feet, left and right. As we find our pause, we are gonna breathe that left foot to that left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. Holding this pose for a couple breaths. Dropping our right knee down, coming into that low lunge. Relaxing the body here. This low lunge prepares the body for splits, by the way. And we can hang out here in this low lunge, or we can push our torsos away from our thigh, flowing up into that crescent lunge, breathing our arms above our heads, feeling that stretch. Chin is up, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, exhale, straightening that front foot, coming into our half pyramid, straightening that left leg. Feeling that stretch, our half pyramid or our half split. They are the same pose, they just have different names. And you'll feel that stretch here behind your leg and your hamstrings as we allow our head, our torso to relax over that thigh. Feeling that stretch, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, and now we're gonna flow into our pyramid, straightening the legs. Torso relaxes over that body. Three breaths, head melts down. As we flow to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Dropping down to our forearms, coming into our dolphin pose, buttocks is high in the air. As we are gazed back at our feet, walking our feet slightly closer towards our torso. Optioning to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if that feels good. This dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. Four breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged puppy pose. Our buttocks is high in the air. Our arms are extended in front of us. Our third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth. Noticing how this puppy pose feels in the lumbar spine, gazing our eyes down or closing the eyes, allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward as we hang out here for five more breaths. Optioning to breathe your palms together and flow them into a prayer hands if that feels good for you. Three more breaths. Extending the arms in front of us if they were in our prayer hands. And we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this pose, using our palms to push our torsos forward and using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling that spinal wave in the spinal cord. Feeling that body flow, relax and soothe here. Feeling the rotations of that spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, we are in table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Breathing our right foot above our head, three-legged dog. Gazing back at our foot. Exhaling at knee to elbow or knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Lower back to three-legged. Exhaling down dog. 
as we walk our dog by cutting our feet left and right. Build the strength in our arms here. We're gonna keep on flowing. Three-legged dog, left side, flowing that left leg in the air. Exhale, left knee to left elbow or knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Dropping down to down dog. Coming to our knees, we're gonna come into a child's pose. Bringing our buttocks towards our heels. Torso relaxes between the thighs. Arms are extended in front of us. Third eye chakra is connected to the yoga mat. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Closing the eyes or gazing the eyes down. As we relax here, the silent meditation, focusing on self, focusing on how we feel right here, right now in this present moment. We're gonna go inward. It's all about self-care. Six natural breaths of silence. With our arms extended in front of us, we're gonna spine away our bodies out of our child's pose, feeling that wave in our spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flow into our table, pushing our body up to down dog. Reading our right foot to our right hand. We are in that runner's lunge. And we're gonna breathe this right hand inside of that thigh, kind of working on that lizard prep. And we're gonna twist our bodies towards the right. We are in that revolved twist. Right arm goes up in the air, feeling that stretch. Maybe we're gazing up at our fingertips or gazing forward, whatever feels best for you. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale down, both palms are flat on the earth. Twisting our bodies towards the left. Left arm goes up in the air, extending that arm, gazing up at the left fingers. We're gazing forward, feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Relaxing that hand down, twisting back forward. Coming into that pyramid, straightening that front leg. Head relaxes over that thigh. Two more breaths. Exhaling up into our triangle. Bringing our right hand to our right ankle. Here is where the yoga block will come into handy, will come into play. We can use the yoga block to get us inside of that triangle. We can use the yoga block to get us inside that triangle. We can have it up nice and tall. We can have it sideways or we can have it flat. Whatever feels best for you here. We're feeling this nice stretch. Two more, let's make it three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling forward, we're gonna flow into a revolved triangle, twisting our bodies towards our right leg, feeling that twist, breathing that 
right arm up in the air, revolve triangle. Using that yoga block, keeping in mind whenever our body's twisted towards our thigh, it's called a revolve pose. Three more breaths. Exhaling back forward, coming into that pyramid. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at the feet, walking the dog by put on the feet left and right. Finding our pause as we breathe that left foot to left hand. Run this lunge. Just for a second, we're gonna breathe this left hand inside of that left thigh. We are now kind of in that lizard prep. We're not gonna flow to lizard. We're gonna twist the body towards the left, lifting that left arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. We are in our revolve twist here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling forward, both hands are flat on the earth, twisting that body. As we lift that right arm up in the air, we are in our side twist. This is also an extended side angle. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back forward, coming into that pyramid, straightening that front leg. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh, feeling the mind and body relax. Three breaths. Flow into triangle, bringing that left hand to that left ankle, lifting that right arm up in the air, triangle pose. Keeping in mind, we can use that yoga block to help us get in that triangle. Feeling a stretch here. Two more breaths. Exhaling that right arm down. We're gonna revolve our bodies towards the left. Revolve triangle, left arm goes up in the air. Feeling that twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Going to down dog. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. This is a full body spread, allowing our torso to relax over the thighs. Hands come down towards the yoga mat or your ankles, wherever you feel it may go. Allowing that head to relax down. Three breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gazing forward, X or straight. Two breaths. Yogi walking the feet slightly apart. Flowing back down to a complete forward fold. And maybe we can come into a ragdoll, connecting our hands to our elbows. Head relaxes down. Optioning to sway, rocking your body from side to side if that feels good. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward. Breathing up to our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. Shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. As we breathe our palms above our head in our salute, palms together. Exhale into that extended mountain, separating the palms. Chin is up. 
As we lean our bodies towards the right, standing side bend, slightly gazing up at the heavens, four breaths. Exhaling back to center, standing side bend, opposite side, gazing up at the heavens, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our palms into our salute, palms together, interlacing our fingers as we allow our arms to flow to the back of the room, feeling this slight back bend. Exhaling back to center, separating our palms in that extended mountain. Lifting our left foot up, we're gonna work on our tree pose. We can be in our kickstand. We can slightly lift that foot up. We can be in that kickstand. We can slightly lift that leg up. We can bring it up in our inner thigh. Arms are above the head. Or we can bring our palms at heart center. Or we can flow into our cactus hands. Whatever you choose, our tree pose is helping us balance the mind and body, building strength in that right leg. Core muscles are nice and tight. You're gonna hold this tree for breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling out of that tree, relaxing that foot down. Pedal on our feet, moving our legs left and right. Nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Finding that pause as we tree pose opposite side, coming into that kickstand foot. Or we can lift that foot up higher above the ankle. Or we can bring that foot up nice and deep in our inner thigh. Here in our tree, we can breathe our palms above our head. We can come into our prayer hands. Or we can come into our cactus hands. Whatever you choose, we are relaxing and soothing as well as balancing the mind and body. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly coming out, relaxing that right foot down. We are back in that Tadasana, palms are at our side. Standing nice and strong. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms above our heads into our salute. Exhale to prayer, relax in the palms at heart center. Shoulders come downward away from the ears. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes. With our feet planted into the earth, may we always be humble and strong in who we are. May we always be ourselves. As we grow, may we stay kind. Yes, may, as we grow, may we stay kind and gentle to self and to the world. Always being rooted in the truth and our truth, always being rooted in our good. Knowing what is in harmony with our mind and our bodies. Knowing what is in harmony with our intrinsic desires and what we want out of this world and what we want out of our lives. Simply staying grounded, simply staying rooted, no matter how far and deep and successful we come in life. Always be true to self. 
With our palms at heart center, eyes gaze down the closed. May we relax in silent meditation five breaths. Two more breaths. Keeping our palms at heart center, we're gonna come into a half forward fold, slightly hinging at the hips, gazing forward. Backs are straight. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose, we can be in chair pose prayer hands, or we can extend our arms in front of us, feeling that stretch. We are also working the lower parts of our bodies. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center. Exhale, complete forward fold. This is a counter stretch, allowing us to relax and soothe our knees and our legs. Head melts down, gaze in the eyes down as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. This is a relaxing and soothing pose as we regulate our heart beat for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Walking our hands to the front, bringing our legs towards the back. We are in down dog. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a child's pose or puppy pose, whatever you choose. Maybe our arms are extended in front of us. Maybe we're in prayer hands, whatever you choose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and forward, coming onto our tummies. We're gonna flow into a space pose. We are on our tummies, on our forearms. Our shoulders are not shrugged. Having our shoulders relaxed away from the ears. This here is a slight back bend. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. This is a relaxing and soothing pose as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Three breaths. Exhaling down to our tummies, coming into a Superman, Supergirl, breathing our arms in front of us, off the earth, legs, feet are off the earth, Superman, Supergirl. We can act like we're flying if we choose, or we can stay still. This is a slight back bend. It's also working our gluteus maximus and the backs of our legs, as well as our arms and our backs. Three more breaths. Gazing forward, chin is up. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose. Four breaths. This is a back bend as well. It's working the back muscles, the legs, the gluteus maximus. Two more breaths. Holding this locust pose, we're gonna come into a sleeping locust, allowing our hands, our legs, shoulders, foreheads to relax forward. Gaze in the eyes down. Taking a couple of subtle breaths to allow the body and the mind to relax and soothe. Four more breaths.
Exhale and out of the sleeping locust. Coming back into that locust pose, lifting the body away from the earth. Chin is up. Two breaths. As we flow into our bow pose, connecting our hand to our ankle, our other hand to our other ankle, lifting our torso further away from the earth, feeling this deeper back bend. Four breaths. Chin is up, heart chakra is opened. Two more breaths. Relaxing the body, swimming the hands forward, coming into a sleep pose, stacking our hands on top of each other. <sighs> Allowing our head, cheeks, chin, forehead to relax on our hands, shoulder blades melt forward. Take a nice subtle breath here as we go in silent meditation for four more breaths. Exhaling up, bringing our hands to our torso. We're gonna come into a baby cobra, lifting our torso slightly away from the earth. Exhale into a cobra, torso comes further away from the earth, elbows are nice and straight. This is a deeper back bend, chin is up. Exhale into an up dog, untucking those toes, taking our thighs off the earth. Up dog. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog, pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our paws, walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Exhale, half forward fold. Flowing up to our mountain pose, Tadasana. Breathing our arms above our heads in our salute. Exhale to standing prayer, palms at heart center. Exhale, half forward fold. Breathing to a complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, down dog, gazing at the feet. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a child's pose or puppy pose, prayer hands, bringing our palms together, flowing them over our head. Four breaths. Flow into an extended child's pose, puppy pose. Arms are in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Spinal wave in our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose. Three breaths. Crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose just for a second. We're gonna come onto our backs, coming into a reclined position. Bringing our knees to our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Reaching our hands down to our toes or the backs of our legs. Breathing our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Exhaling back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees to our chest. As our knees flow to the side, coming into a reclined spinal twist. Allowing the knees to fall to the sides, feeling that spinal cord relax and decompress. Right arm comes out to the side like a T. 
gazing over the right arm. We're gazing up at the heavens if that feels good for you. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, bring the knees to chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the opposite side, I'm flowing towards the right. Left arm comes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that left arm, We'll gaze up at the heavens, allowing the spinal cord, the shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat as our bodies relax and soothe. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Five magic breaths. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As we flow into a happy baby, breathing our feet up in the air, hands come between the thighs, coming out to the side, connecting the hands to the feet. Happy baby, allowing the yoga mat, the earth, to relax and soothe the spine. And we can rock our body from side to side, if that feels good for us here. Or we can simply stay still, relaxing and soothing in our happy baby. Five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and out. Bring your knees to chest. Hug your knees into chest. Holding this position as we bring our feet flat to the earth. Knees are in the air. We are going to work on a bridge pose. Hands come down towards the buttocks. Palms are flat on the earth. Using our feet to lift our pelvic bone forward. This is a pelvic tilt. So using our feet to lift that pelvic bone forward. Pelvic tilt. This is a bridge pose. This works to gluteus maximus and behind the thighs. Feeling it lift and round the buttocks here. Coming deeper in that bridge, we can bring our hands together underneath our buttocks and we can walk our shoulder blades towards our spine. Our hips come higher, our chest comes higher. We are in our deep bridge and we can cross that body up and down if we choose. Or we can stay still and cross the body up and hold it nice and tightly here. Whatever we choose, we are lifting around in the gluteus maximus. Five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Squeeze it nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, fill in the burn. Uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, breathing the knees into chest, hugging the knees into chest. 
Breathe in. Exhale. Lower the legs into Shavasana. Legs are parallel side by side. The sides of our feet are connected as we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Placing our hands at any body part, any position that feels best for you here in our Shavasana, our rest pose. With the shoulders melted back into the yoga mat, eyes will gaze down and closed. May we relax in silent meditation, focusing on self for seven natural breaths. Keeping our eyes gaze down if we choose. We're gonna roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Relaxing and fetal for four more breaths. Slowly rotating our ankles, wiggling our toes, moving our buttocks and our hips, using our top hand to bring our bodies to a seated pose. I am going to come into a cow face. May you find any seated pose that feels good for you. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cords are elongated here, meaning we're not sunken. Having control of the body, shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. Chin is slightly up, working on our posture here. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathing the palms at heart center. Maybe the thumbs are touching the sternum, the center of the chest. Gaze in the eyes down low or closing the eyes. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today in Online Yoga School Virtue Studio. And I am so happy that you have chosen to take the class with me here today for it truly, truly is a blessing being here with you either virtually live or in a virtual studio. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you here today. For the light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Thank you so much. Peace and blessings be to you. Until next time, have a great day. Thank you.